first word, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And when they came to the place called the Skull, there they crucified him. But Jesus was saying, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Why did Jesus become man? Well, it is, as he said, to serve. He came to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Contrary to what many believe, he did not die to satisfy the wrath of God, but to reveal who God the Father is. As he is the exact representation of him. Writer of Hebrews says, after speaking to the fathers through the prophets, God has spoken us through his son, the radiance of his glory and the exact representation of his nature. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God himself. And then he became flesh. And he explained to the whole world who the Father is. He made known the Father. His every act was a revelation of who God the Father is. And the cross is the loudest, the clearest, the ultimate message to mankind. Our God is not a bloodthirsty God who requires blood sacrifices of animals and people. But he is a God who is not a monster, but a God who would rather die for his enemies than avenge himself on them. Father, forgive them, is not the statement of a Jesus who is merciful, pleading to a, a God who is unmerciful so that he would forgive the people. But no, the father hearing his son, father forgive them, says, of course we will forgive them because that's how we roll. That's who we are. That's the divine nature. Jesus' statement doesn't reflect two different natures of the father and the son. No, it reflects the heart of the one God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Jesus and the Father are one. And they have the same heart. The cross shows us the extent that God would go in order to reach us and to lift us up. Jesus forgiving, healing, teaching, feeding, raising the dead, all testify to who his Father is. Because he only does what he sees the Father doing. So where was God the Father on Good Friday while Jesus was hanging on the cross? He was right there with him, suffering with him, bleeding with him, dying with him for the life of the world. And <clears throat> that's who we need to see our Father to be. Look at the cross, because it's the cross is what the Almighty God, what the Almighty God looks like when he flexes his omnipotent muscles. Because he's showing the whole world the most powerful force in the universe, and that is love to the point of dying for your friends and even your enemies, and even those who do not deserve, who are unworthy for it. But look at the cross and remember the gospel. God was in Christ Jesus, reconciling the world to himself and not 
counting their sins against them. Because God loves us. God has forgiven us. God is not angry at us. And God will never leave us nor forsake us. Know the true God through Jesus Christ. He who loves, he who forgives, and he who lays his life for the sake of many. Know him and his son, Jesus Christ. For this is eternal life. And it's the way it is in the kingdom of God.